Hi, Ruby here. So I'm going to be showing you how I color in things like this with my markers. First thing you're going to need is obviously markers. I have a mix of a lot of markers. <laughs> and you're also going to want some kind of media playing in the background just so that it isn't so boring. Well, I like having media playing in the background. Some people just listen to music, other people do nothing. It's really up to that. So first things first, you want to color in your base layer. I'm going to color in everything, then I'll pop back in, show you what I've done. And yeah. Now, since I'm working traditionally, I'm going to want to plan out some lighting effects, meaning there are some places where I need to go in with a lighter color instead of the darker color I was using over here. It may not be so apparent on video, but for me, this color is a lot lighter than this one. So that will help me put in lighting later on. Here, I'm blending the darker color into the lighter color so that it's a more smooth transition from the area that's lighted to the area that is more dark in the shade. For these base colors, I'm using a lot of just one color, and that is to keep my color scheme just generally the same. So with the dress, I plan on going in with almost a plaid with some more saturated colors, but having this desaturated color as the base will help me out and just keep everything more just cohesive. For the quote-unquote white part of her dress, I'm going in with this warm gray, just so that Everything is, again, a little bit more dull, since this is supposed to be a bit of a darker scene. And like before, I'm going to keep just the very side of this arm a bit lighter, because I'm having a light source over here, shining up here. And then also up top, her antlers are going to be glowing, so that's why I have this part a bit lighter too. So, that's why I'm going in with some lighter colors elsewhere. Now, one thing that's important is to take a break. At this point, I think everything has flat colors, and my wrist is starting to hurt, so I'm going to take a break, Ivanch, and come back to it. So, now that I have finished with the base color, I want to go in with just some slightly darker shades <laughs> and go in and shade where you think things need shading. For example, I'll take this marker I was using earlier for these and use it to shade her tights and her sleeves. Now you may be thinking, since these are going to be lit, lit up, why isn't everything else lit up? Because Although the bridge of the hat and her fingers are going to be lit up, pretty much everything else is being blocked by the bottom of the hat. So that's what I'm doing there. So I've gone in with yellow around everything that is glowing. Just using marker. Since marker lifts, you can just do that. Now time to add the finishing touches like blush. You don't have to add things like blush to your characters, but I think it's a cute, just little detail to add. Last but not least, her eyes. You go in with white, go in with a slightly darker shade, and then you go in with the darkest. Now, depending on how you do things, you might add some pupils in, and you might do something else. Anyway, here's the finished product. Thank you.